Hello and good morning everyone! <laughs> welcome, welcome! It's early morning, I probably have a little bit of morning voice, but we're here looking at Santa's workshop. Because we're going to start my uh, Minecraft marathon today, doing some creative building, trying to get my brain working early this morning. And um, last week we worked on the indoors, we were on the first floor and I'll just run through it real quick show you what we worked on so we decorate we did the walls we did painting we did ceilings we did floors so each room has a distinct look and we started to plan out what is going in each room so this is this is what we did last weekend we have I extended the floors into the towers that are going to be the stairwells. So we did that in all of the first floor rooms. So we did all the first floor. I did between streams since last weekend do the ceilings and floors and plan out the floor plan of the second floor. Um, so we do have that all ready to go, but we are not doing any painting today. My plans for the day are to work outdoors. So we're going to be going outdoors and we're going to be working on what it looks like around the workshop. We're going to make it festive out here. We're possibly going to be adding some decoration to the house, the workshop, so that it looks way more Christmassy because while it's nice to have these Christmas lights and these little wreaths, and the candy canes. We need a bit more. We need this to just vomit Christmas. That's what it needs to do. That, I believe, is what Santa would do to his workshop. So, I want some Christmas trees out here. I want some giant candy canes. We need to get a sleigh out here. Well, there's no way we're doing reindeer, but, um, yeah. We need some stuff out here, right? So that's what we're going to work on today. Um, I'm always looking for you guys' inspiration. So if you can think of things that need to be out here um, around the outside of the workshop, again, we're probably not going to get um, everything built that I want to get built before Christmas because we've we're we're running down on the wire. We're running out of time. We have just over a week, and my plan was to put. A cottage here for Santa um, that's just not happening um, and then over here in the little lower round area I was gonna put a stable for the reindeer that you know that's those are things that you just get overwhelmed with the amount of things that you plan and then it just never happens so that's okay it's okay we're gonna have our workshop so the first thing I want to do is lay out um, a little path of where the you know you're just not gonna walk in the snow this is gonna be trodden down from wherever people are walking um, so we're gonna lay out a path and I will do some classic candy canes the red and white candy canes yep we'll probably this lower area will probably raise so that it's flatter um, I want to put Santa's sleigh right in front we could do that pretty quickly I noticed that there is a sleigh in DecoCraft. Now I'm hoping this isn't a toy sleigh. His reindeer axis, he does have <laughs> he does have his reindeer only axis one. Ooh, we can put it at an angle. Let's Oh, you know that's it's not very large, but it is larger than toy size. Sure. You know, that's easier than me trying to make a sleigh. We may end up having to make a sleigh anyway, depending on what the rest of it is out here. But, um, all right, so a path. Mm, I would use snow. I wonder if there's any chiseled snow. There are bricks. Don't really need bricks. What? I have a bunch of statues. What does he do? Gives you snowballs. Huh. Very interesting. There is no armor. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that we're playing in Foolcraft, so there's some really interesting things in here. 
Yeah, not doing uh, grass, definitely. There is going to be snow. So we're going to want snow layers for sure. Snow blocks. Um, need to make some bits for that. Yeah, you did, Yasmin. Seriously, you're thinking the chemical food coloring, but red was one of the easiest food colorings to get because everyone grew beets. And I mean everyone. There were beets. Lots of beets. And carmine, yes, exactly. There are bugs too. Red was one of the easiest colors to get. First things first, since I did some chisel and bits here, it removed some of the um, snow. We're going to just place... And you know what? Instead of doing this one by one, why don't I use the shifting crust? And we'll do... Place all the grass with snow, darn it. Because why not? And we'll do it just all the way around. As much as possible. Um, this is going to be a patio, so we don't need to change that. Well, don't you think uh, Santa would um, evolve with the times? I'm not making a vintage Santa's workshop. We're making the Santa's workshop that he currently lives in. Looking good. Get all the snow, right? Um, red and white. Red and white candy canes are the ones that everyone will recognize these days. So. And once with the flowers, the flowers have got to go. Alright, so it looks like a good start for snow here. We'll have to keep doing some changes to tweak it, but I think I've got all the snow taken care of. There's some flowers here that don't need to be here. The grass either, but I won't be able to remove everything. And then we need... We need the terra firma rod. Now if I can remember how to do this. Does this raise or lower? Lower. Okay, so I need... What is it that I need that goes... Is there one that does that? Hmm. Maybe not might just have to use a builder's wand. I thought there was one that would build up. I don't remember what those that one does. Well, I guess we'll just have to use our builder's wand. Where is my builder's wand? Don't know. Destruction, creative, I have those. We'll just work on rebuilding this up a bit. And go from there. Now we'll probably have to swap it out with snow. Uh, that. 
Sure. Did I have a wand? I do have a wand here, thank you. <laughs> well, you know that happens. You know that happens. That. Okay, so then we'll do the shifting crust and switch it all to snow before it actually snows. And then I'll have to fill in all these empty holes, but that's not a big deal. We just need to make stuff look Christmassy around it. Um. Yep. That tree's gonna stay. kind of goofy since it's not evenly filled in. I probably should have been a bit more um, specific about how I did it, but oh, I bet there's snow layers here. Okay. Um. Oh. I think we're about at the point. Maybe we'll lay out the candy canes to kind of define where the workshop build is. That might be that might be recommended. And I'll probably just do a I don't know if I want to call it traditional, but a vanilla style giant candy cane instead of trying to chisel and bit one. Um, so these holes in. So, well, they wouldn't be connected quite so much, but just like a divider, you know, just so you know, here's the area that I built up for, you know, for the workshop, and then here's the area that's not developed. So, pretty much what I was thinking. Oh, no. So, alright, so if we're going to do candy canes, I want to use some really white and really, there's the white block. And do I have, I don't want to use this red. Mm, the concrete red's pretty good. And, um, let's see if we have a path coming out there. I'll probably get rid of this mound where I've got all the blocks I had planned to possibly use. Obviously that won't stay there. Um, well, I'd like to do one candy cane here. How tall should I make these? T one taller. Yep, that works. And like I said, we're just going to do giant candy canes. Oh, yep, they don't have to be super fancy. So if this one is here, we want to put another one exactly like it right here. Did I start with red? I did since... I just started that and that's just to kind of like 
be like, woo. Um, yeah, I'm so wishy-washy this morning. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's trying to get the creative juices going <laughs> so early in the morning for me. Um, I want a Christmas tree here, so let's put a spruce log down, um, right there. That's where we're going to work on a Christmas tree. So, Christmas tree there, and then we'll probably plant... Um, spruce. In fact, I thought I had. I did. I'm sure. I'm sure I did. Bone meal. And we're gonna need dirt because I placed all that snow. Um, let's do some of that. Uh -huh. This might be a better delineator than um, uh, candy canes, just to make it filled in with trees. We're going to just try to see what happens as they grow. Let's put one here. Ma. Start with those. Hi there! Nice to see you. Hello. And of course there's a restart in 10 minutes. I forgot that it does it about, about now. Of course. Let's just make this a nice patch of spruce trees. Oh, let's see if we can get all of those to grow. I see iris. I think I'm gonna leave those. So there'll be a patch of them here. Let's put one there. And we'll get rid of the dandelions, which clearly would not grow in this area. So the path needs something that's slightly off color that you can actually see is a path and I might I might use diorite. You know, dirty snow. You'd have to assume there would be dirty snow, wouldn't ya? And then we'll add snow on top of this. So that you're not all seeing the diorite. And I don't think it would be a perfect path. People coming from all different directions. Um, let's do this one. So we have a little bit of a mishmash, but let's start going this way with it. Kind of veer off that way. We're going to go past the sleigh. Which, obviously, would not be just sitting out. This is getting... This is sitting here because it's going to be filled up soon. Yeah, that, that would be cool. Um, there, we'll say that that is the path heading off that way, and there's probably going to be one going this way too. Um, got 
Yeah, essentially, diorite looks like snowy gravel, maybe. Ooh, snowy gravel. Not that they'd use gravel, but... So that's a start. Um... <laughs> And then we'll have to do some chisel and bit snow. So let's place this down. Get some snow. Oh, hang on. Now get the snow. There we go. Okay. So we'll place a little bit of snow until the server restarts here and i'm just going to do we want replace first and what i tend to do with this is on if you've ever if you saw what i did in the age of engineering series where i had a dirty floor in front of coke ovens i just take single bit first and just spam click like that and get just all sorts of pieces that are interspersed like that, all the way around. That's a start. That's how I get it started. So you guys are getting a tutorial here of how I do kind of a messy... didn't want to do that. <laughs> a messy area. So you start with the, the single bits because this way when you come in with the thicker patches, you still have a couple of the loose bits um, out there. Clicking on the snow layers, obviously that's not what you want. So, so you could make one block and copy it and rotate it. You really could. But it wouldn't have quite the variance in it. Okay, so now that we have that done, I switch to drawn region, still in the replace, and I just do larger patches. Still spamming the area, but just kind of moving things around. And what we'll do is have it kind of look all patchy. We need to do the little spam stuff in this area. I haven't done that yet. And we need to find another color that would be useful here too, because I don't want all the same color. So that's a start of making it look all muddy and unique. Um, so let's switch back to a single bit so we can get down here. Me! Hi, Galden! Oops, don't want to do that. And in fact, we want you to be snow. So, if you can hear my finger clicking furiously on my mouse. <laughs> We're just adding detail to this path that you can't do in creative. Because you have to assume they didn't shovel perfectly. There's going to be bits of snow. Any of you who have um, experience living in a snowy area knows you can't get every single little bit of snow when you shovel. You just can't. It's not possible. Um, unless you have heated sidewalks for some really weird reason. Um, so we're gonna have to find another, like, off-white maybe? New PC parts! That would be awesome! Throw some in there for me too! Alright, so now that we have this, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Let's take a look. See, what do you think? What do you think of this slightly snowy um, path? Now, it looks really blocky. It's Minecraft. So the next thing we're going to do, light or light gray? You're right, I should do a light gray. Um, 
don't really want to do a flat color block because you won't get any texture. You know, one of these marbles might work because they have like a darker and it might be interesting to do like this cracked version because wherever I end up placing it will be all these um it'll be all these different textures pick you up all right so then we've got single mode replace again and then if we just spam it in here we should see is that the one we're using yeah marble we should start seeing different textures pop we are we're seeing some different colors show up that's making me happy um, it's a little harder to see on the diorite portions but these larger bits of snow for example see, starting yeah look see look at that that's definitely worth it and we could even do some here in the actual snow and all right we're gonna have to restart let the server restart but so we're almost done make you know there's not a whole lot to do with the uh, ground but we need to make it look pretty as pretty as a dusty old oh nope nope um, let's switch this to draw and region and add some bigger pieces in here and here and here and you just just like you did before you spam the area like I like that the marble gives you several different colored textures depending on where in the block it ends up we're doing good there getting this all mixed up so this is how I did the texture around the coke ovens in age of engineering I've had people ask me um, yeah it's not a fast process Well, I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to get to the edges here. Just um, doing the bits and pieces along the middle section where people are tracking mud and dirt and gravel and stuff in through the middle. The edges I'm going to do, instead of replace, I'm going to do some place. Because I think it's going to be like piled up along the edges. So, what do I want to do with that? Just kind of get it piled up along the edges. Um, I want to make sure it doesn't do too much bumpy nature. Because you are going to, if you walk over it, it's going to be kind of bumpy. But if we do get piled up around the edges here. I think there'd be a decent pile here. Let's do a decent pile. Maybe here too. And I could use some of the other like cubes and stuff. But I really like the drawn region. piles of snow. It's never perfect. I've never seen a perfect pile of snow. So yeah, we just add some bits along the edges. Let's soften them a bit. 
Um, let's take some of that down just a touch. Um, I think I want that to go away. And well, soften it a little bit on my own. Okay, and here. the snow layer back. There we go. We'll work with snow layers in a moment. Because um, I know that doing this detailed snow, some of these snow layers are going to go away. And I'd rather um, add them in after the fact. Alright, so... This needs to be softened a bit. I take get rid of you. Go away. No. Congratulations. You've just officially become a dog of the military. Woo! Thank you, Owen, for four months of membership. You are an awesome guild member. Thank you. So we'll keep going along the edges, softening them up. Don't like the straightness. <laughs> um, if we then take some snow layers and where we've got full blocks, we can pile them up just a little bit further. So there's how the path would, how the path is developing. I like it. A bit of snow everywhere. And you know, you would have bouncy nature if you were walking over crunchy snow too. So that's the way that will work. Um, I have a lot of this to do. I'm not sure I'll do a whole bunch of path. I just wanted to have the really well-worn well -worn area in front of the door where everyone's going to be coming in at. Um, really well done. So there's that for a start. Let's move on. I don't want to, I will come back to this. I just would like to pick a lot of different things to do. Let's get some of these trees grown that haven't grown. Get rid of the ones that I don't like. I wonder if I can make two by two trees. Ooh, I like that one. And that's another of exactly the same, so I have to decide if I want to keep that one. Oop, I like that one. It would be a recurrent complex one. And it looks like all the ones over here have grown, so that's nice. Ones over here, I think, I've all mostly grown. Yeah, I just wonder if they'd look, if I could get a giant Christmas tree one. I don't think I can get, there we go. Are you too close? Woohoo! Mm, there's one here. I wanted it to be nice and dense. Yeah, that spot looks good. There's that one. Did I place any others back here? I don't think I did. Alright. So, what I'm hoping for is a 2x2 two two Christmas tree style spruce tree, so I don't have to manually create a Christmas tree here. Um, that's what I'm hoping, is that this spot here... Or do I want it here? Uh, 
I'm hoping I can get the Christmas tree one. The one that's got the branches real low. That is not quite what I'm thinking. So he's got to go. Um, tree... So let's try again. Woof, no. Oop, and of course I clicked too hard. I know the one I want exists. I've seen it. Trial and error for a while here. Oh, we're getting... Uh... What the... <laughs> no. get there See, there's another wonky one this one it's just what no <laughs> uh, no all of the leaves from the old tree are gone when I do this they I have they break away um, I don't think that's Um, what I have noticed is if you place leaves with the builder's wand and then and then you break one of the non-placed ones next to it, all of the all of them disappear. They all go away. So well, you know what? <laughs> that one looks weird too. Yeah, there's recurrent complex in here. <gasps> oh, we might have left. Oh, this is definitely a good starter Christmas tree. Definitely starter Christmas tree material. All right, we will be able to use this one, no problem. Build it out from here. Ooh, I think we got our Christmas tree started. All right. Because we can build from there. Give me. There we go. So then we can. Oh, whew. well, if I stream as long as I had planned to stream, I just got a message from Ed, by the way. My plan was to stream until he got home, because uh, he's out with friends today. Um, he's off to see the Star Wars movie for his birthday, which is today. So he's not here. Um, and I was like, well, then this would be a perfect day for me to do a marathon stream. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's just like that's a lot of streaming because he just told me they're not going to the movie until 5.30 tonight it is 9.55 here right now um, yeah. um, <laughs> so yeah my plan was to stream until he came home 
but um, if he's not going to a movie until 5.30 and he's currently almost two hours away. Um, yeah, that's a long time. Oh, they do? Do they sparkle in little bits form? Really, really? Katrin just said that the Empowered Blocks from Actually Editions... Oh, is that even in this pack? That might be... Oh, well, can't use it. <laughs> There's no Actually Editions in the pack. Wah, wah. Good to know, though. <laughs> I suppose. That's looking all right. Now the tree doesn't have to look perfect because we will be adding, we'll be adding stuff to it. But this, I feel like it needs to get bigger down here in order to compensate for how narrow it is up here. And I don't want it to make be too narrow, too wide at the top, because then I'm gonna have a problem with um, getting that. Um. All right, so that looks good. Let's fill this in. Try to get a shape. figured out. Gonna probably have to move the sleigh. That is too big. I think I'll just keep going with building it up from what I've got here. It's doable. Definitely doable. Build that up a little bit. Let's build this next layer up just a little further. Are you getting dizzy yet? We're spinning around an awful lot. difference for these. I don't really like them. pretty narrow through the middle but I really like the size of the base so I'm not sure what to do about that um, not sure at all trim it a little this way we can expand this section just a touch 
give it some unique um that's where I want to go. Some unique different shape. Um hmm, not like that. All right, so for those of you enjoying the stream, make sure you try to use some of those holiday cheers that Twitch has added. Um, if you cheer um, up to 249 bits, you get, you get to unlock some seasonal emotes to use in the stream. And I've seen them, they look really adorable. I'd love to see some coming up, so. Um, yeah, I think about that. Um, just trying to think about the sides that would be the most popular for people to see up. I like this side. This looks good. Well, you know, it's a good idea, Alchemist Azur. Alchemist says to make it a uh, suggestion to make it look like the kind of Christmas tree you would draw as a kid where it kind of goes out and in and out and in and you see a bit of the trunk um but what i'm really wanting to do is just have it so that they have a tree that naturally grew and they're decorating it's decorated so we could make some of the top pieces exposed um here and there, but I'm really just making it so that I'd like, you know, it'll get fuller the more stuff I add to it. I just want this tree to have a decent shape, and that looks relatively decent. It might be a little too heavy on top now. Woo! thousand bits from called in look at that Christmas tree yay thank you called in now you're gonna be sitting on the top of my bit board for quite a while was that your goal all along <laughs> um I'm actually pretty happy about this. Uh, like I said, we're gonna start adding lights and uh, bobbles and um, you know things of that nature, so it'll look fuller as um, that happens. I just wanted basic shape, and I think I'm pretty happy with this shape of what would you know a giant Christmas tree would look like. I don't know what to put on the top as far as um, a star or something. I don't know. Um, hmm. I didn't like the fur. So what I'm probably going to do is make a whole bunch of the flat colored blocks. Like this one would be good for... Let's put it down so I can get some bits of it. Um, And switch to survival, and we'll pick it up, and then we'll set it to, hmm, large cube. Let's do grid snap. I keep getting notifications from YouTube for, of the people that I follow. I keep closing them so I can Z. Alright, so. Bloop. Um, start with one side at a time.
Red ones first. We'll do this side. Do one here. There's no rhyme or reason for these. I haven't decided how decorated the tree is going to be yet. Um, let's do one there. I really like how bright these are. Okay. And then the side. What other colors should we use? White? Well, there'd be a lot of red and white. Maybe... I don't want to use green. Maybe... A, uh, silver might be hard to do with a flat color block. Um, blue? Yellow. Yellow would be pretty. So we have that. We should figure out lighting. Um... I forgot there's colored glowstone. We could totally use a colored glowstone. Um, let's do white um, glowstone. I really have glowcrete. I know we have glowstone too. Interesting. Yellow glowcrete, white glowcrete. Is that really glow? What is it? Oh, it's. I see what it is. That's not bad at all. Okay. Get those. Let's see what those look like. And those are the same size. Do we want them the same size? We could do them smaller. Try to make them. Are they glowing at this size? That's the question. I can't tell. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what level they have the glowstone turned up to. Free up inventory. Free up inventory. This is set to quarter, no, half, yes, okay, so they have to be a half size. I bet they do for the Glowcrete too. Where are the Glowcrete pieces? Did I, here. So they have to be the same size as the red balls. So, question for you is should I do the glowstone or the glowcrete? I really like the glowstone. Look at that. Glowstone wins, in my opinion. And we'll just try to make it go down and around the tree in some kind of fashion that Christmas lights would normally 
go down and around the tree. We'll put you right next to that one, sure. Um, We need more than this, of course. Um, but there's this one stripe of lights. And it does! It looks like it's a chain of lights all the way around. So then... I started here. The other one... We'll do on this side. And just kind of make it go this way. And it should, hopefully, uh, not perfectly line up with the next, the last set, but should work its way around. And there's one there too. That looks kind of off, but that's okay. Hmm. Okay, so we did two stripes of Christmas lights, and so now we need to add some more, more cool stuff. Now we've got red ornaments that are technically balls. Um, what we could do is get into the deco craft stuff and find some little toys and things that could work as ornaments. You never know. Let's see. I I have a deco bench out just so I can like browse through the holiday stuff without having to look at everything. There's um there are Christmas presents. That's awesome. Like these plushies would totally work as ornaments. So snowman, let's just type in plushy. And we'll get, I don't really want to use those. So let's see if we can put any of those on the tree. What do you think? Um, I'll stop moving in a second <laughs> so you guys can actually give me a judgment on that. I like it. I think that's cute. Let's do some elves. Elf on a shelf, anyone? And then I also have Santa's. I think those are a good start for little ornaments. Um, hmm, let's put a Santa here and an Elfie dude there. And an Elfie dude there. So cute! Can't wait to start decorating the inside of the um, house, the inside of the workshop too. It'll be awesome. Um, I 
What do we got here? Let's put another Santa down here. So that's a good start. What do we think? It doesn't need to be a super ornate Christmas tree. Um, the garland options are pretty poor, I think. Um, and I don't think any of them are, like, garland to put on. Actually, now I think about it. There's the snowy garland. Can't place it on. Oh, I can. It's just you can only place it straight, and you can't really see it. There's this one with snowmen, but see again, it doesn't. You can't really. <laughs> I mean, it would work probably like. Uh, not even really on the walls. How are you supposed to... I don't know. These are disappointing. Let's just put it that way. These are disappointing. We will be using chisel and bits. Don't worry. This, this is whole chisel and bits. It's just that the idea of making... Uh, really detailed garland for this it just is a very daunting task. But what do we think of the Christmas tree so far? I think it needs more. Um, it needs more, but we're working bit by bit here. Is there a guy stuck over here somewhere? Is that why I keep hearing him growl? Where I raised the earth and was being silly. Whatever. Okay. Um. I have to come back to that when I can figure out what next to do with adding to the tree. 